Hello everyone, my name is Nair and today I will be discussing my bachelor thesis project titled Fully Backed Stablecoin System. It's a blockchain project implemented on the Ethereum blockchain with the React web app as the front end. It's a three token system with the first one being a stablecoin called the Nero. You can purchase the stablecoin using a debit card or a credit card. First of all, let's learn about the total supply of the coin before purchasing uh, the stablecoin using a credit card. As you can see, the total supply for the coin is 1,000 coins, and the equivalent bank balance is 1,000 US dollars. This amount of US dollars is held by the holding entity of the Euro stablecoin system. Let's proceed to purchase a certain amount of coins. Now that the transaction has been completed, let's see how the total supply has been reflected. As you can see, the total supply has increased by 120 Neros and the bank balance has increased by 120 US dollars. So each Nero is always maintained by a bank balance of 1 US dollar. As you can see, the total amount of Nero held by the user has increased by 120 in the Ethereum wallet owned by the user. And also for every 100 Nero minted, 1 Nero will be minted into the owning entities Ethereum wallet. Nirok is a utility token that will be used by users in order to mint NFTs, where each NFT to be minted needs one Nirok to be burned from the user's wallet in order to mint the NFT. Let's now try to purchase one Nirok token. As you can see, the price per Nirok token is 0.001 Ether coin. So after purchasing Nirok, we're gonna go ahead now and mint NFTs. We're gonna fill the name, enter the number of stocks we want to add, and then the stock name has to be in the ticker form. So, and then we have to fill the ownership form, which is downloaded from this link. After filling it, we're gonna upload it again. It's displayed right here before uploading. It has to be filled, of course. And then we press mint. The transaction will be verified with MetaMask. After minting the NFT, the admin has to accept or burn the NFT submitted according to the document submitted if it's correct then he have to accept and if anything is wrong with the document he can burn the nft and decline it so now we're gonna accept the nft assuming that the information is correct after it's submitted the following one comes uh, automatically here it's nft1 we're gonna accept it also once the NFT is accepted, the user can go ahead and view it uh, in, in, in their account, like displayed here, and then he has an option to offer it for sale so others can buy it. We're gonna offer the NFT for sale now. We'll offer the second one for sale as well. After offering the NFTs for sale, we're gonna find them in the NFT store, so any user can go ahead and buy these NFTs. So we're gonna try to show this feature now, we're gonna press acquire NFT, which is also going to trigger MetaMask. So this is like a checkout page which shows the current stock price and the total, which is the stock price multiplied by the quantity. So if the user confirms the transaction, is going to, to press buy. And if we're back to the NFT store, you will find that this NFT is gone because it's sold already. 